So this just showed up today. If I think what this is, I didn't think I was gonna get it like right now on December 19th, my birthday. So let's see what it is. I didn't think I was gonna get this already, but here it is. Look at that, I got it already. The M4A3E2 Sherman Jumbo World War II Assault Tank. I just did my December haul and I'm gonna build this like right now. It is my birthday, I wasn't planning on building it, but why not? Gotta bring out these tanks to compare. Hey, I'm not gonna set up all my lights. I usually hide it in that thing, but I don't feel like it. So I ordered this immediately after I saw this released or announced, and now I have it. But it's the M4A3E2 Sherman Jumbo first and best on the Cobra King. That's what it is. It just looks like a really beefed up Sherman. I guess it's gonna take on to the new Sherman for 2020. This is the only time I'm gonna make this tank, and I just had to buy it. A little happy birthday to me, right? I didn't even think they're gonna release until the 19th, like mail it out on the 19th. I didn't know I was gonna get it on the 19th itself. Sorry about the lighting right here, guys. It's, I know it's a little soft, but I didn't want to set up my lighting for this. I just want to hurry up and build it. So this is set number 2272, which box am I? Number 74, aw. Back to the normal box that I'm used to. Winners on board their build. Thank you for supporting Brickmania, Dennis Siskin, Commander Chief. This is a pretty big instruction book. This is the Cobra King, and it is from the 4th Armor Division that broke through with General Patton during the Battle of the Bull. If you've seen Band of Brothers, you'll see that E Company, 2nd Battalion, 506 Regiment, 101st Airborne was surrounded. Even though they didn't say they needed to be rescued, this was one of the tanks that broke through the German lines that was surrounding the 101st. How do I feel about being rescued by Patton? Well, I feel pretty peachy about it if it wasn't for one thing. We didn't need to be fucking rescued by Pat. Got that? John, sir. Excuse us for a moment. Sorry, sir. Sorry about what? Pat. I couldn't agree more. Here's some of the stickers, the bags, normal brick mania stuff. Well, now I have to go pick up my son, so I'm not gonna build this right now. I'm gonna eat. Shove some food in my face. Put me back in the box because I have to go pick up Ezra. We have to drop him off at my in-laws. I had to go to a funeral down in Orange County for one of my brothers who passed away in the Marine Corps. And my wife had to go to work for some lunch and holiday shindig. I had to put everything back and I will return to this in like two sec. Well, when I get to probably tonight after dinner, it is my birthday, like I said. But either way, it's just a couple seconds for you guys because it's just a, it's the next scene. Just got back home. Let's take this out and build it. Ready, set, go. And I'm finally finished. Kind of took me a minute. Let's compare them to the rest. So here is the Cobra King. Like I've said before, I do love this because of this. Maybe it's just a sticker, but this has a lot of personality to it. So this is the reason why I really like this tank. And you can see there is a big difference from Cody's previous Sherman. We all know that the Cobra King is a field updated tank. Updated hull, updated armor, bigger gun, not the same. As you can tell that the hull is a little bit longer in comparison to the old Sherman. I mean, I do have like extra bit pieces in there, so that's the reason why it feels longer. But with that being said, it's a little longer. Definitely different size turret. I'll bring the all ball forward. You can you can totally tell that the turret is massive on the Cobra King. In the front, you can definitely tell there's a thicker armor. So if this is the Easy 2 uh-oh. This is the Easy 8 I feel like the double wide track links kind of see it sticks out a little bit it looks really cool i know they were like extended to the links it's almost the same size kind of comparable to the size of the turret just not the gun and i was bringing the hellcat in front of it 
obviously is bigger than the Hellcat. It's a minifig that it comes with. Looks like he has pouches on the front. Let's compare him to the Hellcat driver. So he's a little dirtier, just a tad different. Feels a little bit more solid. Definitely comparable to the M4. I'm excited to see what they do with it in 2020. The new M4 is gonna be modeled close to this. I am curious to see what they will do here. I know the hull is gonna be somewhat the same. I do like the way this back is. I, I thought the uh, M4 already was a good design. The rear of this tank, this tank is designed by Cody Cell, And once again, he knocked that out of the park. Let's do that little pose down. I definitely like this tank. Gonna react the Fury scene where the Tiger blows up all of them, except for Fury itself. I am happy that I got this tank. It's really sick. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, I appreciate you. Just give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.